Hey there, John. Who's the new guy? You're the new guy, right? Well, I'm Rick, Vice President of Marketing. That's my office over there at the big window. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, this is Pam, our secretary. If you have any problems or questions, you know where to find her. Hi, I'm Jason. I transferred here from Kingston. Oh, Kingston. It's gorgeous over there. Why did you move here? Just didn't find what I was looking for. <laughs> I need to use the restroom, excuse me. It's nice meeting you. You too? Well then, let's go meet the rest of the crew. I love this job. No suits, no hassle. Dear diary, that man Jason, I can't believe he came to the office today. I can't believe he found me. I thought I was done with that part of my life. I wish the past would just stay where it is, but he keeps finding me. I need to find a way to shake him before he gets too close to me. He destroys every inch of happiness in my life. He takes away everything that I work hard for. There's only one way out. Hey, James. How's the office treating you? It's Jason. Not bad, Justin. Thanks. Me and some of the guys are going for some drinks after work, if you want to come. Sounds great. Thanks for the invite. What's that all about? I don't know. I hope he's okay. Dear Diary, Jason is going on my nerves. He needs to be gone. He's going to ruin my reputation. This cannot happen. I've gone this far without any trouble in my life, and he is not going to get in my way. Today didn't go as planned, but wait until later. He's going to get it if it's, it's the last thing that I do. Oh, there's this really creepy guy in the office, Rick. He's the biggest idiot I've ever met in my life. I get this feeling that he's watching me, and if that's true, I need to take care of it. Anyways, I need to get ready. Everything should go as planned. Sincerely, Pam. So how does this thing work? Well, first you have to have it plugged in. Oh, oh man. While I check this out, can you go run down and get some copy paper? It's just down the hallway, or in the corner. They have stacks of it there. I just wish they kept some here. Jason, you may not remember me, but I remember you. And you're not going to interfere with my life here. It's time to call it a day. Okay, honey. I'm putting you away for keeps. Is there a reason you didn't tell me you were uncovered? Didn't the captain not trust me? We've been after this little honey for a while now, and figured you might give the stake it away if you knew I was here. But I could have done it. Sure. Really? Sure. Down the stairs, sweetie. No, really. Tell me. Was it the captain? Sergeant Rockwell? He trusts me. I could have done it. Jeez. 